The following is an introduction to the arthritic hand. Scanning technique is of particular importance while scanning the metacarpophalangeal joints or the proximal interphalangeal joints due to the slight transducer pressure and its capability of compressing useful synovial tissues. Begin with copious gel heaping over the area of interest. First, utilize the index finger as a primary palpation point as well as a stabilizer for the ultrasound transducer. Also, use the thumb as a stopping point for the transducer's depth over the gel heap. Try first to observe this gel heap and the position of the fingers before looking at the screen. Our first observation highlighted here in white is the distal metacarpal head and highlighted in purple the normal anatomical metacarpal notch. The next highlighted bone is the middle phalanx. Note the joint space here in the normal image also reveals a normal appearing hyaline cartilage highlighted here in dark blue. The light blue indicates the normal physiologic amount of synovial fluid. The yellow layer indicates the normal synovial membrane. Observe its attachment point into the metacarpal notch. In red, we see highlighted here a normal appearing areolar connective tissue layer. In green, highlighted is the extensor tendon as it passes over the joint. The purple layer is simply a subcutaneous fat layer, followed by the orange layer, which is the actual cutaneous layer, or skin. In this video clip, I will demonstrate the sensitivity to probe pressure on the synovial capsule. Observe the simple fluid displacing while the transducer is depressed. Upon letting up on the probe pressure, we see the simple fluid emerging from the joint highlighted here. The following study demonstrates severe synovial thickening in early rheumatoid arthritis. Here we have highlighted the normal appearing distal metacarpal head and metacarpal notch with no erosion. Here is the proximal phalanx followed by the normal amount of physiologic fluid and our severely inflamed synovial membrane as it inserts to the metacarpal notch. Highlighted in red is the areolar connective tissue layer followed by the common extensor tendon which appears distended due to the thickened structures beneath it. In purple is the subcutaneous layer followed by the orange layer which is the cutaneous layer and also the very important gel heap keeping these structures from being compressed. Confirm inflammatory conditions with power Doppler. Pulsed wave Doppler is a tool that measures the velocity of blood flow. We will now look at a similar joint, the proximal interphalangeal joint, or the PIP joint, which is distal to the metacarpophalangeal joint and more commonly affected by osteoarthritis than rheumatoid arthritis. It has very similar construction to the MCP joint. Highlighted here is the proximal phalanx followed by the middle phalanx and the normal physiologic fluid, followed by the synovial capsule highlighted here in yellow and the extensor tendon highlighted here in green, the subcutaneous layer in purple and the orange cutaneous layer. When evaluating osteoarthritis, the primary changes are observed in the cortical surface rather than the synovial lining. These cortical growths make the joint almost impossible to see on a static image. In yellow is the synovial lining, which appears normal in thickness. Here we have a little excess joint effusion, and the extensor tendon appears fairly normal as do the subcutaneous and cutaneous layers so that we see the full extent of this growth and its effects on the soft tissue always remember to use a gel heap. 